Hey guys, welcome back to Showtime Car Audio. I have here a new product we just put on the site. That's Boom Mat Sound Deadener products. And we have a couple types here. This you might be familiar with. It's the high-end foil-backed uh, deadener. They also have a, a heavy-duty, more rigid type deadener. And this is very exciting. And also I have here a foam-backed uh, leather look uh, sound barrier type product and I want to show you a little bit of this but also how it works so let's go to this animation I made and I'll show you how at least the first type of deadeners the standard type of deadeners work and then I'll explain a little of the leather most of our cars are made from sheet metal this is not an optimal material to use for sound control so we deaden and here's why Imagine this is a piece of sheet metal in your car. When low frequency bass waves are present, it causes the sheet metal to bend and warp much in the fashion of a wave. If we zoom in, we can see smaller vibrations on a higher frequency scale present in the sheet metal. When we apply deadener, this suppresses those small vibrations by adding mass and increasing the amount of acoustical energy required to move that sheet metal. Let's zoom back out and see the low frequency warping of the metal and apply deadener. The rigid layers of the deadener act as a brace and counteract the force of stretching and bending of the sheet metal, minimizing its flex. So in the animation you see two types of vibrations and there are harmonics in the vehicle so there's some cancellation due to uh, frequencies that would fight the frequencies that we're producing with our stereo system and the Denner products pretty much suppress those unwanted harmonics and those vibrations that would cancel out our sound and the, the foil stuff here has you'll see a foil layer and then the rubber layer viscoelastic material uh, which does stretch and that helps with the smaller vibrations the high frequency vibrations whereas the foil uh, acts as a brace it's a more rigid material that does not stretch so it braces the metal from flexing now the heavy duty rigid deadener does that same uh, uh, dampening of the low frequency large flex just on a greater scale because it's a lot more rigid a lot stronger in that sense and it's more dense and it still has the adhesive backing but then you'll see um, it's it's like a plastic almost like an ABS plastic texture on it so it's very strong and rigid and this would be great on ceilings and large flat surface areas but when used in conjunction layered together with the foil back deadener you're gonna have one of the best deadening type of uh, products out there anywhere and then we have the leather backed uh, foam uh, deadener and what this is really good for is airborne noise uh, where the foam itself acts as an anechoic layer deadening uh, or silencing any um, uh, unwanted airborne noise such as uh, engine or, or, or the wheels uh, through the wheel wells and the leather material itself is quite durable so you can use this to lay down as in the trunk as a trunk liner or for doing trim panels for a nice higher end type of look And of course, Boomat makes some other stuff that we're going to carry on the site. We have spray-on deadener, which is going to be great for those hard-to-reach areas in your trunk and in your door panels. Uh, they also have some useful knives and wooden rollers for mounting down and contouring the foil deadener to uh, uh, the different shapes you would see around your uh, firewall or on, in the bottom of the seat area and stuff like that. So go to our site, ShowtimeCarAudio.net, and check out all the new deadener stuff we have.